What's up glue sniffers? This video wasn't planned at all, but first I ended up with too much footage for my Soviet painting episode. And second, if we have a dedicated painting tutorial for the weapons, why not make one for the upgrading too? So we will take this nice pipsch from Tamiya from the weapon storage and we will make it, I don't know, presentable? I know that cleaning goes without saying, but too many modelers, including me, sometimes neglect this part. The problem is that if you do a good job with the painting, everyone will look at those small suckers in detail and he will see your slappy job. And it would be a shame, right? So take your scraping and sanding tools and dig into it. At the end, extra thin cement is there to smooth things up. Every decent scale weapon deserves a hole in the barrel. The most tedious part for me is centering it. A needle in a vise helps me a lot. If you do a good job with the centering, there will be no problems with drilling. First, with a smaller drill bit, and for the end, you enlarge it with a bigger one. A millimeter of hole is more than enough, and again, some extra thin cement never hurts. And here we are with the most obvious and important part of our upgrade, the sling or the belt. I tried many materials, but electrical isolating tape is the easiest. A fresh surgical blade is a must. 0.5mm would be too narrow and 1mm would be too wide, so you should aim for 0.75mm stripes. I know that this seemed hard, but do some test cuts and you will be nailing them as a sniper in no time. Ok, close enough. When we are dealing with machine guns, 25mm between the attachments should be alright. For rifles and bigger stuff, you should increase the distance accordingly. If the glue on the tape was helping us a lot while cutting, now we should get rid of it. I tried with isopropanol, acetone and even nitro thinner, but the tape was even stickier at the end. So I glued the belt down with the sticky part up and painted it with some Mr. Surfacer. I was using the back of a sticker to avoid gluing the belt to the surface. You can see that I skipped the attachment area because this will help us later. Time to make the belt. Just cut away the excess and leave about 7mm of it. Then we should make a V-shaped cut on the end. And it's folding time. Now you see why we left the area clean. Ok, I missed the length slightly, but you get the idea, right? Same story on the other side, but here we leave the cut straight to make some difference. And we have a belt. If you are wondering what a serial production looks like, here you go. Doing more belts is less time consuming and you can store them for future projects. I needed 7 anyway, so... I will take a second to say thank you to my amazing Patreon team. Guys, your support is great. Before gluing the belts in place, we should study some reference photos. Lucky for us, the internet is full of them. I used Cole Ventuno Fast CA Glue. As the name suggests, it is fast and the density is just right. Just a small drop at the location and you are set. Be careful to turn the belt right for the other point. And we are ready for the cherry on top, the buckle. If you know of a cool aftermarket set and where to get it, I'm all ears. I came out with a DIY solution, but a quite complicated one. I asked my friend who works on a CNC milling machine to make me those tools. If you too have a friend like this, here is the drawing. All you have to do is punch a 0.75mm square hole out of some mayonnaise or mustard tube metal. Use some hard wood for the floor, don't do it on your table. Smooth the holes with a round wooden handle. And now for the funny part. Take your hobby blade and cut around the hole to obtain a buckle. This is just a quick representation, you need a lot of time and practice to do this properly, but in the end you should end up with something like this. Perfect? Absolutely not. Better than nothing? Sure thing. Our weapon is upgraded. 
and if you follow the painting tutorial which is already on my channel the results will be well something like this this was all for today see you in 14 days hopefully in the meantime be healthy be cool and put some glue on the styrene too bye